looking well different. Welcome to Watch Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 20 twisted sci fi movies you've never seen. Okay. Existence. For this list, we'll be looking at thought provoking and daring science fiction films that deserve more attention. What mind bending sci fi movie do you think needs more love? Let us know in the comments. Number 20 Event Horizon. When it was released in 1997, Event Horizon was met with harsh reviews and poor box office. Place looks like it's never been used. You still haven't seen any crew? If we saw any crew, Doctor, you'd know it by now. However, appreciation for it has grown considerably over the years. In this future set plot, a team of astronauts conduct a rescue mission of a spaceship and make some shocking discoveries. Director Paul W.S. Anderson's film has drawn comparisons to Alien and The Shining, and while it doesn't reach the heights of those masterpieces, it still manages to impressively unnerve. It shows you things, horrible things. What does? The dark inside me from the other place. Those with weak stomachs might want to sit this one out, but for everyone else, Event Horizon is a great, if unsettling glimpse at the terror of the unknown. From hell. You don't believe in that kind of stuff, do you? Whoever sent that message, he sure believes in hell. Number 19. Advantageous. Sci-fi is often seen as an escapist genre. But Advantageous isn't the kind of movie you put on if you're looking to have a break from reality. You would do the same for your own girls if you were in my place. This Netflix film stars Jacqueline Kim as a woman who, in a desperate bid to provide for her daughter, undergoes an identity-altering procedure with devastating consequences. You may have to remind me of things, especially what's important to you. Director Jennifer Pong's film plays more like a somber drama than a sci-fi thrill ride, but its thoughtful examination of topics like racism and income inequality make it a consistently gripping watch. The scariest thing about Advantageous is that it doesn't feel entirely like fiction. Listen to me. It's good to be humble, but you need to know your value. Number 18. Mr. Nobody Looking for a new non-superhero multiverse movie to watch? Check out Mr. Nobody. Uh, what year is this? 2009. I'm 34. I was born February 9th, 1975. This riveting film starring Jared Leto is the story of the world's last mortal. Or to be more accurate, the stories. Director Jaco Van Dormal's film jumps through different realities for protagonist Nemo Nobody, stemming from the infinite possibilities of life. No, that's not it. In another life, then? Anyway, I remembered you. Mr. Nobody manages to be both emotionally resonant and thought-provoking as it makes you consider just how much impact one decision can ultimately have and the very concept of time. This and its nuanced performances and vivid cinematography make it anything but a cinematic nobody. Hello, Nemo. I'm glad you found me. Number 17, God Told Me To. Don't let the title fool you. This isn't a movie you'd show in Sunday school. I mean, you shot her in the back. Twice, Writer-director Larry Cohen's film is ambitious in ways some may find shocking and offensive. In this grim New York City tale, a slew of murder culprits all have one thing in common. They all claim to have been persuaded by divine intervention. And it gets even more out of this world from there. However, God Told Me To still manages to feel grounded, practically to the point of discomfort. I found myself wandering down a street near my home. It was the next day. Nobody believed me. You may want to say some prayers after watching this. I'll come again. 
we'll talk soon. Number 16, Cube. Escape rooms are fun, but they wouldn't be if they were anything like Cube. Listen, we can't go climbing around in here. Why not? There's traps. What do you mean traps? This Canadian sci-fi cult classic is about six strangers who wake up in a maze, one with some truly nasty surprises awaiting them. The impressive production design and sharp direction from Vincenzo Natale make you feel like you're trapped right there with the characters, desperate to get out. Is anybody besides me interested in what's on the other side of that door? And while some scares are visual, others are psychological, as it shows how tenuous trust between people can be. Believe us when we say that Cube is a truly multi-dimensional viewing experience. The only logical explanation. Number 15, Possessor. Few names are more associated with sci-fi horror than David Cronenberg, and it looks like his son Brandon is successfully following in his footsteps. This might be a bit of a rough jump. Just do it. As you wish. Possessor, the younger Cronenberg's second film, is one of the top sci-fi movies of the decade so far. Like his father, Cronenberg merges both body and psychological horror to craft an unforgettable viewing experience. Andrea Riseborough plays an assassin who conducts her business through taking over the bodies of others. However, she soon finds herself at a crossroads with her very identity. With stunning special effects and a haunting storyline, Possessor is the kind of movie that will take hold of your mind long after watching it. Number 14. Altered States This movie has a rather apt title, as it's both about mind-altering substances and may make you feel like you're on them as well. How do you feel? Not bad. I hallucinated like a son of a bitch. In an impressive debut, William Hurt plays a psychopathologist experimenting with sensory deprivation and psychedelics who sees and experiences things that would shake even the toughest of minds. Altered States holds an impressive pedigree, as it was directed by the provocative Ken Russell and penned by Oscar-winning screenwriter Patty Chayefsky. But while watching, you probably won't be thinking about who made it, as you'll be too busy trying to stay calm. Number 13. Liquid Sky Another great 80s sci-fi movie about drugs, Liquid Sky is the kind of movie that feels like a strange dream that you can't quite describe, even as it's unfolding in front of you. I know that you like it, so why should I live these lies? This independent film was made with limited resources and an unknown cast, but what it lacks in budget and star power, it more than makes up for in craft. Set in the audacious world of the New York club scene, the film is about extraterrestrials who comes to Earth in search of a very particular substance. And now you're telling me that aliens have come here and they're also looking for drugs. It's just incredible. Corpses. Through ingenuity and purpose, director Slava Sukerman and his team managed to create one of the era's most stunning genre films, both a remarkable capsule of punk aesthetics and a dizzying exploration of the senses. So come on, who's next? Who wants to teach me? Come on, teach me. Number 12, Existence. We couldn't get through this list without mentioning at least one David Cronenberg movie. The Artur behind shocking classics like Videodrome and The Fly also has a few unjustly overlooked works in his catalog. One especially worth highlighting is Existence a turn-of-the-century thriller that's a video game movie like you've never seen before. Now I'm warning you, it's going to be a wild ride. But don't panic, no matter what happens, okay? Jennifer Jason Lee plays a game designer who finds herself in incredible danger after sharing her new virtual reality game. Teaming up with a security guard played by Jude Law, 
she finds that the video games aren't always fun and games. And I'm locked outside my own game. I can't get me in or it out. This being Cronenberg, existence is full of squeamish visuals, but it's also full of thrills and imagination, strange as they might be. Listen to me! I think we're still inside the game. Number 11. Tetsuo, the Iron Man. No, you won't find Tony Stark anywhere here. This Japanese cyberpunk movie runs just a little over an hour, but it's more memorable than many films that are twice as long. A man finds himself undergoing a horrifying bodily transformation and realizes that his past is coming back to haunt him in a big way. Director Shinya Sakamoto's kinetic style makes an already disturbing premise all the more nightmarish. And the black and white cinematography only makes the horror feel even stronger. <laughs> this film is also credited with bringing Japanese cinema greater worldwide attention. Now that's metal. <laughs> Number 10, Fast Color. Starring the always excellent Gugu and Bata Ra, this unconventional superhero film reminds us that there's still room for smaller productions in this crowded genre. Fast Color bucks the trend of big-budget, action-packed superheroics to tell an intimate story about a young woman whose seizures trigger earthquakes. Take your daughter and get under the desk. What are you talking about? Stay away from the windows and cover her head. Her superhuman abilities make her the target of a scientist looking to harness her power. As it turns out, however, special abilities run in the family, and it's ultimately her relationships that are at the very center of this film. For so long, I was haunted by the pipes breaking and the walls and the water, but I couldn't remember her face. I'm not scared anymore. Beautifully shot and boasting impressive effects for a smaller film, Fast Color was well received by critics, but received a very limited release. Number nine, predestination. He always knew this day would come. You can do this. Ethan Hawke and sci-fi films make for good bedfellows. 1997's Gattaca is a classic. Though not nearly as well known as the aforementioned film, Predestination arguably gives Gattaca a run for its money in terms of quality and ups the ante in terms of plot complexity. Preparation is the key to successful, inconspicuous time travel. Luck is the residue of design. A tightly written time travel story, the film follows temporal agent Doe as he attempts to thwart a crime that will cost thousands of lives. As Doe jumps through the timeline, the twists come fast and heavy, but unlike so many films of its kind, it largely manages to hold together while navigating the complexities of space-time. But when the dust settles, I think you'll, you'll see that we did the right thing. Plus, the movie's got a real heart, something that often gets lost in more cerebral sci-fi. Number 8. Beyond the Black Rainbow for those of you who are primarily here for the mind-bending angle, consider this 2010 Canadian production a must-watch. Through our unique blend of benign pharmacology, sensory therapy, and energy sculpting, we can guide you gently along the path to a new, better, happier you. It's the feature film debut of writer-director Panos Cosmatos, who's perhaps better known for his equally insane 2018 movie, Mandy, starring Nicolas Cage, stuck on full throttle. Beyond the Black Rainbow is a sci-fi horror flick that's hard to summarize. I can guide you towards that achievement. Find your strength and your inner power. Set in 1983, it tells the story of a telepathic young girl being held captive by a psychopathic doctor. But there's so much more to it than that. Playing out like a drug-induced fever dream and reveling in bizarre imagery, Beyond the Black Rainbow is every bit as strange as its title would suggest. Number 7. THX 1138 
Before changing the world of science fiction forever with the release of Star Wars in 1977, George Lucas first found his footing in the genre with THX 1138. If you feel you are not properly sedated, call 348-844 immediately. Failure to do so may result in prosecution for criminal drug evasion. His feature directorial debut, the movie was actually based on Electronic Labyrinth, THX 11384EB, a 15-minute short that the then-aspiring filmmaker shot while studying at USC's School of Cinematic Arts. The story is set in a dystopian future where sex, emotion, and family are illegal. And the uniformly dressed masses consume government-mandated drugs to make them more compliant. It was considered a flop at the time of release, receiving mixed reviews from critics, but has gained a devoted following in the years since. It's a man. It's a man. He's, he's waving. He's waving to us. <laughs> Number six, coherence. When you think of sci-fi, elaborate set pieces, futuristic special effects, and complex world building is what typically comes to mind. But as Coherence reminds us, you can craft a mind-bending sci-fi film without any of that. Who else knew about this? Lee, did you know about this? All it takes is a compelling concept, and for it to be properly executed. Released in 2013, filmmaker James Ward Burkett's directorial debut explores the strange events that occur when a comet passes over a dinner party in California. Oh my god. Honey, uh, babe, you know, I'm on. Do we have candles? I'm uh, so, so glad I'm not high. Guys. Reality is inexplicably distorted by the spatial body, creating multiple overlapping realities, including duplicate versions of themselves. Hey there. Don't mean to freak you guys out, but we just wanted to borrow your phone for five minutes tops. Thanks. A heady plot that benefits from multiple viewings. It's a real testament to what you can accomplish on a budget of just $50,000. Number five, Time Crimes. Though this film commonly appears on various best of sci-fi lists, it's one that few people, excluding sci-fi buffs, have actually seen. What have you done? I don't know what you're talking about. You said you were going to sit with me. A Spanish-language sci-fi thriller, Time Crimes tells the story of Hector, a man who gets pulled into a complicated time loop after being stabbed by a bandaged stranger in the woods behind his home. As multiple Hectors come into play, our protagonist experiences the same events over and over again, but from different perspectives. Hola. Sí. Soy Hector II. ¿Cómo? El segundo escucha me habla abajo. El todo es puede oír. Not only is the plot riveting, but the film is rightfully often held up as one of the most well-thought-out depictions of time travel in cinema. Darkly humorous and utterly engrossing, it's mandatory viewing for any self-proclaimed sci-fi lover. ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué Tortes me lo dijo? Hector III. Hector III. Number four, Until the End of the World. German filmmaker Wim Wenders is considered by many cinephiles to be the master of the road movie. Could you go? He's coming. Please. Go. In this 1991 drama, he takes that expertise and gives it a sci-fi twist. At the time of its release, the movie was considered a critical and commercial flop, being criticized for its pacing and lack of focus. I'm lost. So you reached a dead end, is that right? And to be fair, the two and a half hour film does progress at a rather meandering pace, but that's part of its unique appeal. That camera was invented by him. The US government wanted it, but he didn't trust the uses they'd put it to. A road movie and cinematic sci-fi road trip through Australia until the end of the world feels more like a dream than anything else. And in the years since, has often been labeled as a masterpiece. For those with the time, there is a director's cut that's nearly five hours long. Number three, Dark City. This criminally overlooked neo-noir sci-fi film never got the attention it deserved. You are confused, aren't you? Frightened. That's all right. I can help you. Who is this? I am a doctor. Now you must listen to me. The Matrix was released just one year later, and with its similar themes about humans unknowingly living in an artificial environment, Dark City was eclipsed, becoming something of a footnote, at least from a popular cinema perspective. 
The film barely managed to make its budget back in theaters, but garnered glowing reviews. Stop playing games with me, Murdoch. Stop telling me no, lies. I'm not telling you lies! Roger Ebert went so far as to call it, quote, a film so original and exciting, it stirred his imagination like Metropolis in 2001 A Space Odyssey. Why are you doing this? What do you hope to gain by helping me? The truth. He's not alone in feeling that way. In the years that followed, devoted fans of this cult favorite have argued that its influence can be felt in countless sci-fi films that have come out since. Number two, Primer. Back to the Future might be the most popular time travel film ever made, but there are those who argue that this little known movie is in fact the greatest. That is, at least in terms of how it navigates the rules of time travel. Made on a shoestring budget of just $7,000, the film follows a pair of engineers who accidentally develop a machine that creates a time loop. Okay, okay, you hear that? How it's, uh, how it's, see, I'm not touching it anymore. It's growing with its own momentum. It's like a feedback loop, and it just regulates itself. And what you do is when it gets there, you bring it back, and there you go, it coasts. After figuring out exactly how it works, they use the box, as they call it, to profit off the stock market. But sure enough, complications arise. From this, they deduced that the problem was recursive, but beyond that, found themselves admitting against their own nature. And once again, that the answer was unknowable. Primer is written, directed, produced, and edited by Shane Carruth, who also stars in the film. A true labor of love, the movie's attention to detail is astounding. It must have been beautiful with all the praise and adoration he had coming. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Stalker Andre Tarkovsky's influence on sci-fi cinema cannot be overstated. But while his peers hold him in the highest regard, his films aren't of the mass appeal variety. The only exception being perhaps his 1972 movie Solaris, which was remade by Steven Soderbergh in 2002. Stalker, released in 1979, rivals Solaris for the title of Tarkovsky's greatest sci-fi. It follows a man known only as the Stalker and his two customers as he guides them through a surreal, forbidden area of land known as the Zone. Their objective? To reach the room, where one's greatest desires are said to be fulfilled. A dark and desolate film, Stalker is not an easy watch, but it's pure visual poetry and offers endless food for thought. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from Watch Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.